Remove these four bolts that hold the power window motor. And then these two bolts that are connected to the power window bracket. Unplug also the wire connections. By the way, be careful, the glass window is fully closed and it might slide down when unbolting. After unbolting, slide down the glass window to access the glass bolts. Just loosen these glass bolts. For the socket to reach this bolt, angle the glass window. and hook the two glass bolts by sliding. Once separated, push up the glass window and secure. I'm removing now the whole power window assembly. Remember to secure the glass window. Just to test the power window. This is for the roll down. When I press roll down, the teeth should grind the other so that the whole mechanism will move. Whole mechanism is not moving. Instead of buying a new power window motor, I will fix the motor. I am detaching the motor from the assembly. These teeth should grind each other. So that this glass holder will be rolled up or down. Let's see what's wrong inside. So this is a rotator. And this one on top is a connector. The groove of the hole of the connector will move the teeth.
the groove fits the post, rotating it in the process. To synchronize, the connector and rotator must be glued together. I will glue together these two sides. File for better adhesion. Follow manufacturer's direction when gluing. This winder also synchronizes the rotation. I have just applied the metal glue here. Let the glue cure according to the instructions. More time of curing, the better. So now just reassemble. This is how the power window fits inside. There are four bolts here. And the two bolts. So the two bolts here. Four bolts here. Insert back in this position. Stretch the assembly to reattach the glass. Slide and tighten the glass bolts. Push up again the glass and secure. Find the four holes of the assembly. Insert this bolt, then the other bolts. Connect the wire plugs. Secure the wires. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.